Welcome to the Moon Magic Tarot channel. We are going to use the Tarot of the Light to guide you guys into whichever reading you are tuning into for your weekly spirit guidance. And in a moment, I am going to run through as well once I've drawn the cards and also a rune and a charm for every reading just to guide you in. I'm going to read um, a tiny little bit from the Art of Manifestation Astro Moon Diary about the full moon eclipse on Monday. So tomorrow, amazing energy at the moment. This is a blood moon. It's a full Full moon in Scorpio. You know guys we've had the most extraordinary kind of build up of energy and the coming week is just something else in terms of the flow into emergence, rebirth, productivity. So I'll talk to you in a moment about the lunar energy for the week and I'm going to run through kind of if there are challenges in your world, how we can use that lunar energy to navigate them. And if things are going well in your world, how we can use the lunar energy to really enhance productivity and to move things forward. So pretty powerful week ahead. So let's, let's get centered. These cards are coming through really strongly for reading one and reading two. What does spirit wish to guide you into for this week and that's reading number three okay let's place those over here now oh wow guys this is really interesting so i think today we're going to be doing four readings this is what spirit wishes us to tune into absolutely unquestionably four readings today so the first reading, um, we are being guided in by the Queen of Stars. Reading number two, the Ten of Stars. So this is Illuminator Hoarding, Ten of Stars. We have the Ten of Trees. Wow, look at the energy and the vibration that's coming through for this eclipse, this set of eclipse readings. Ten of Trees, Loyalty. And seven, the path, exploration. So, Super Souls, we are doing four readings today. Um, I normally do three on a Sunday, but today we are doing four. Wow. Let's draw a rune for each of these readings and a charm as well. Oh, it's really interesting. Four runes have come out. Just going to move them to wherever they are. Right, so... We have the Rune of Constraint. This is interesting with Queen of Stars Illuminator. Now this is very relevant, I think, to the Mercury retrograde energy because we often things slow down, um, things don't run to plan. Sometimes we feel restricted, but if that is the case, it's because you need to see something. So this is very powerful for this reading number one. Reading number two, 10 of Stars Hoarding, and we have the Rune of Harvest. Reading number three, Ten of Trees, Loyalty, and we have the Rune of Hagalas, Disruption. Very interesting. Gosh, very powerful energies coming off. And the Path, uh, the card of the Path, Exploration. We have the Rune of Breakthrough. Okay, let's draw a charm for each of the readings too. Ooh, first reading we have the Tree of Life. Wow, very. Second reading, Ten of Stars, we have the Butterfly. This is transformation. I'll hold these up in just a moment so you can see them. Hagalas, Disruption, the Rune of Disruption, Ten of Trees. We have a, a treble clef, so there's something about your vibration here. Really interesting. And the Turtle, this is about creativity, new beginnings. We have the Charm of the Turtle with the Rune of Breakthrough and the card of the path for reading number four. Let me just show these to you close up so that you can have a really, really good look at them. I think you can probably see that card. Let's show you those. So the Rune of Constraint with the Tree of Life. We have the Rune of Harvest with the the butterfly transformation emergence very powerful week of emergence this week quite something actually so very relevant to the overall lunar energy for the coming week and the overall astro dynamics 
we have the rune of Hagalas, disruption, and the treble clef, vibration, music, ten of trees, loyalty. And reading number four, we have the rune of breakthrough with the turtle. The little turtle is all about creation. So we see a breakthrough moment, perhaps the path will become clear. We will see what spirit wishes you to know about for this, your week, your weekly guidance from spirit. Um, wonderful friends, I'm gonna put the timestamps in the information box below for you. I'm also this week going to be announcing the winners of my monthly prize draw. So the winner for April, someone will be receiving a free private reading and somebody else will be receiving a pack of Oracle cards. So if you're on my subscriber email list, do um, check out the video. I'll, I'll announce the winners and put a little video on right at the end of the readings. And so, yeah, wonderful, wonderful people. Press the pause button if you need to and just tune in with whichever reading or sometimes it's readings that are speaking to you. And Super Souls, I will now talk you through the lunar energy, the full moon eclipse in Scorpio, the blood moon, and how that energy is going to pan out and flow through the coming week. So I will do that and then move straight into the readings and all the timestamps are there and all of the links if you are not yet on my subscriber email list for that monthly prize draw, you're welcome to add yourself to that and I'll put the link in the information box there as well. And of course, the comments for phone users. So guys, I will see you in just a second. Welcome my wonderful, wonderful friends to this week's Lunar Updates and I am so excited to share this week with you because the flow and potential movement forwards is really, really quite extraordinary. We move into a full moon eclipse tomorrow, but let us look at the energy of today, of Sunday. We are really aligned with the energy of sort of karmic creativity, literally making things real. The moon is in Scorpio and the lunar influence highlights the beginnings of this flow of potential openings. Now, if anything unexpected happens today or there's even some disruption to your plans, just go with it. Trust that the universe holds a bigger picture and that when we move into the energy of the full moon eclipse tomorrow, which is actually in the very, very early hours, or certainly here in the UK, I'll give you the timings in a moment, that we are being shown things that are going to create openings. And despite there being a Mercury retrograde taking place, there is huge, huge opportunity this week to move things forwards, to find clarity, to see what our next steps are, to see where we need to go. So an extraordinary week. On Monday, we have the full moon, total lunar eclipse in Scorpio. It's also known as the blood moon. Now this, the, the sort of the overall astro dynamics, they're karmic, they're dynamic, they're evolutionary. I mean, it's really, really a sort of energy that's happening. And because we are in Scorpio, we may well be finding ourselves doing some deep diving. Now, these are the timings that are exact. Um, if you're in LA, it will be uh, actually the 15th of May today and the full moon is exact at 21.13. In New York, it's literally 13 minutes past midnight. London, but on the 16th of May. London, 16th of May, 5.05.13 in the morning. Sydney, 14.13 in the afternoon. And in Auckland, 16.13. So let's talk about the dynamics of the day. A full moon in Scorpio will tend to illuminate the shadows. It invites us to do a deep dive and look at ourselves and our situations with real honesty. We can look into the shadows. As the saying goes, when in deep water, become a diver. The Scorpio energy supports the letting go of things, the transformation, things that no longer serve us. And this is making room for transformation, renewal and rebirth. 
This particular full moon eclipse brings some very, very strong dynamics, all of which invite us to peel back the layers, deep dive into a space of profound awareness. Now, eclipses are associated with our karmic journey and they're said to create almost like an energetic rift or a portal that can assist us in connecting us with our purpose and our calling in this present lifetime. It's like a, a, a timeline window of opportunity where we engage in the present with a retrospective view of the past, which aligns beautifully with the Mercury in retrograde at this moment, but we also can take actions in the present to create the future that we wish to bring forth. Now today, our beautiful moon also sits with the North Node, and this brings heightened awareness of the impact of our actions, past, present, and future already. So there's so much aligning here for us. As always, with a full moon, she sits opposite the sun, but both of them are squaring up with Saturn, who's also again known as Father Time and the planet of karmic lessons. So the karmic feel to this full moon eclipse is just incredible. If you are in any way unsure of your calling, or you're seeking illumination and guidance to inform the next steps on your pathway at this time, then this powerful full moon eclipse is really the perfect time to dedicate kind of structured time, literally consciously make space to meditate or engage in shamanic journeying, anything that will allow you to move into that portal of information and awareness that is held kind of a bit like the information that we get when we tune in with the Akashic Records. If you find yourself dreaming prolifically at this time, keep a dream journal because a, an awful lot may be being revealed to you. Now, later today, the moon will move from Scorpio into Sagittarius with a void of course period between 9.28 and 11.51 GMT. I would just add some of the information I've just been reading has come from the Art of Manifestation Astro Moon Diary and Journal. So if you are interested in having that available to you, you know, do check out those books. On Tuesday, the moon is in Sagittarius and we literally ease into an incredible week of flow. It's like we've done the deep dive and now we can move forwards. So whatever was opened up, revealed or confirmed to you over the full moon eclipse, expect it all to flow into its rightful place. If you're facing any challenges, then allow the universe to support you in finding a resolution. The energy is really promising support. If your world is already steady or something in your manifestations is really flowing, then expect it to continue and to build and to emerge. On Wednesday, the moon moves from Sagittarius into Capricorn with a void of course period between 03.59 a.m. and 12.02 p.m. GMT. The vibration and energy of emergence and rebirth really continues to flow. There's an interesting spike of lunar energy around 6 p.m. GMT on this day, it kind of promises, I think, to aid clarity. So it's likely to focus your attention on something that really matters. So the purpose of it is to bring something into mind so you know that's where your energy and focus should be lying. So if it comes with a jolt, it's something that you're not seeing and you need to see. And if it's something you're already aware of, it will give you heightened awareness and bring your focus and intention um, with much more sort of clarity around that, that issue for you. On Thursday, the moon is in Capricorn, highlighting desires and ambitions. It's a lovely energy today. There is a brief kind of lunar intensity around midday GMT, but again, it's going to focus our attention on, on this day, particularly anything that needs to be rebalanced or brought into alignment with our dreams and desires. The overall dynamics are amazing and they really focus on transformation, rebirth and flow. I mean, this is seriously an amazing week to move things forwards, find resolutions, move our manifestations forwards and begin to really see stuff emerge. On Friday, the moon moves from Capricorn into Aquarius with a void of course period between 11.59 a.m. and 12.53 p.m. GMT. Now, whatever you've been engaged in during the week, I think you can literally begin to sort of 
maybe expect fruition. So either in the early stages of success, if you've been sowing seeds, they may start to emerge. Doorways may well open. You may see completions of things you've been working on for a while that then open up the possibility of new opportunities. If there have been any challenges, this is the day when we can begin to see um, success in any efforts we've been putting into to overcome those challenges. This really is fab. On Saturday, the moon is in Aquarius and the overall astro dynamics bring yet another stunning day of flow. Interestingly enough, I think the lunar influence begins to invite us to slow down a little bit, to be less proactive and to pause, to give thanks for everything that has taken place during the week and to reflect on the overall emergence of things, everything that we've been working on, how it's moving forwards. We are almost in the last quarter, which always invites reflection and evaluation with an opportunity to course correct, to tweak, to add additions to our timetables, to see where we are going with clarity for the next lunar phase. So we're just beginning to move into that energy with higher vision and higher perspectives. An absolutely super lovely day. If you've enjoyed this lunar update, I post it every single week when I post my Sunday readings. And if you'd like to just get a reminder of these sort of energetics on a daily basis, I post the images on Facebook and Instagram every single day as well. Tons and tons of love to you all. Have an amazing week. Welcome to reading number one, beautiful people. So Queen of Stars Illuminator, we have the Rune of Constraint and the Tree of Life. Now, this card is really interesting. In a traditional tarot pack, as your starting card, the Queen of Stars is actually the Queen of Wands, but this particular pack, with the Rune of Constraint as well, it actually suggests that you're about to emerge in some way. Maybe you compromised yourself in some way that you shouldn't have or usually because your self-belief wasn't strong enough and it with the rune of constraint it does suggest that you're about to come into your own so you are in a space of emergence the tree of life it's like you're about to blossom in some way with this full moon eclipse it's the scorpio full moon eclipse the blood moon we we do a deep dive, we see, we're shown those things, we're given an opportunity to lay stuff to rest. I, I just feel like you are about to, you are being given an opportunity to emerge in some way, to come, you're coming through something. So something has been holding you back or restricting you in some way, and you are about to emerge, almost like I feel like to blossom actually is what I feel like. So we'll draw some oracle cards and we'll draw tarot cards and we'll just see what spirit wishes to talk to you about. Clear and activate, create sacred space. You know, what does spirit wish to show you? I think this is about cleansing you from the inside out. You might even want to take some time, reading number one, you know, restraint, constraint to step away from something and, and move inwardly to cleanse your own, literally cleanse yourself from the inside out. Because you're about to emerge, you're going to need your own energy to move forward. Something is about to flow. This is a coming week of flow. So gosh, I almost feel like you're shedding something that was previously holding you back. This rune speaks of, it's like, you know, that saying when fishermen go to sea, or when fishermen can't go to sea, they mend their nets. So it's kind of like attending to details. I feel like there's a, a cleansing yourself of something and also attending maybe for some of you to some details, just finalizing things. So you're ready then to move forwards, clearing the way. But this is a space of growth and emergence. There's no question of it. I'm gonna draw some more runes actually next. We have three runes. We have the rune of joy, we have the rune of ice, and we have the rune of flow. Now the rune of flow tells us that things are going to start to shift and they're going to move forwards. This is a time when you are flowing into a new space of your being. The rune of ice suggests for me, along with constraint, that the emergence needs to be slow and gentle. 
Don't rush into things. In terms of the energy this week, I think Spirit is really saying, take your time. Go gently. Don't try to force anything. The flow will come anyway. You know, the universe will orchestrate around you. This is a week, I think, for you guys of being very present in your manifesting. We're still in a Mercury retrograde season. It's like literally allow the, or <laughs> I was about to say allow the orchestrate, allow the universe to orchestrate with you to show you almost like minute to minute on a daily basis what that next step is. And if you're not clear, just stand back, ease back, all will be illuminated. And whatever you are shown through this blood moon eclipse, just then allow that information. I feel like you may also be shown something that gives you the information, but you might need to digest something. Again, take your time. You might need to process or digest something that is shown over this full moon period and let it filter through you so that you then emerge. We have this magnificent rune of joy. This is out of darkness into light, a new dawn, clarity, a new day, a fruit bearing rune, a rune of promise. So, so far, and we'll draw more cards, this reading is suggesting for you spirit guidance right here, right now for you, is that you are going to blossom, but this isn't a forcing of something, it's an emergence, which is completely different when we try to make, sometimes we're really busy and a reading will honor that busyness, it's like the opposite for you. We have this lovely um, amethyst energy. I was really drawn to amethyst to come into this reading. This is a master crystal, but it's a crystal of both healing and abundance. And I feel both of these, that the energy of this is really right for you. You are flowing, uh, but gently. It's an emergence. It's a steady processing, digesting of experiences, and gentle responsiveness this week for you. Let us look at, we'll draw, we'll draw an archetype card. This is, I think, for you here, the threshold. Yeah, you are standing literally on the threshold of, an, of a new space of being. You are literally on that threshold. I feel like this week for you is a, is a turning point in some way, shape or form. And the universe is really ready to show you what you need to see to move this forwards. Let's draw from, let's draw for some tarot cards next, I think. Seeing this one, two, three, four, and five. new beginnings look at that the threshold and we have the fool we have the king of cups mm. ace of pentacles wow this is reading number one the energy of your reading in terms of new beginnings is is magnificent it's absolutely super fab queen of pentacles Ace of Wands, oh my goodness me, reading number one. Talk about new beginnings. To have two aces, we have a king and a queen. This is a unity of the masculine and the feminine. It's like, gosh, it's like emotional emergence, connecting with the reality of, yeah, it's making something real. It's the stuff of, of dreams emerging, the, the things that really, matter to you, the things that are heartfelt. You've been waiting. Whatever you are on the threshold of here, reading number one, you have been waiting for this for quite a long time. There's been a lot of reflective work taking place. And as you digest and process things this week, I feel this is a week of digestion, processing, reflection, gently allowing yourself to absorb the realizations of things. It's as if your the very nature of your, the, the essence of you begins to change as you create sacred space within you. And as that happens, 
these openings will just appear. The energy, the resources, if you have been tired, the energy will return. If you have not felt that anything will manifest, a, the doorway opens. You, there's a sense of real, I kind of want to say satisfaction, joy and reward in a very earthy and emotional way. There's something very powerful about the elements of kind of water and earth, you know, mixing together, becoming a, it's like, like the ingredients of something, you know, of having, when you have a piece of clay and you add water, you can mold that clay. You can begin to do something with it. It's like the ingredients and the elements are coming together here. You are literally standing on the threshold of a new space of being. Do you know, I feel it's such a strong message coming through as well, which the universe is sort of saying, actually, I also want you to enjoy this moment take pleasure in it. It's that, again, fishermen can't go to sea, they mend their nets. You're being asked to take pleasure in the moment. Enjoy the unfolding. Don't be rushing to step through that doorway. You know, we live in such a goal-orientated society. Enjoy this opportunity and this space of new beginnings. Enjoy the very essence of the emergence. Here, let's let us draw some more cards. I think we will draw from the Art of Manifestation another Oracle card. These are the cards I give away each month in my woo, in my in my uh, prize draw, the subscriber draw. Synchronicity are seemingly random coincidences. Uh, you have three cards that popped out there. Are seemingly random coincidences showing up in your life? This card asks you to listen to the signs and take them seriously. You are tuning into the universal energy of a greater collective consciousness. These synchronicities are arriving in your world to guide you. Take a leap. Wow. Intention. Oh, wow. This is, is just, I'm just going to place these here. This is where these are sitting. The synchronicity under the threshold card. It's like, it's what I was saying, the universe is orchestrating an opening for you. You need to be maybe slow enough, steady enough to allow the flow to take you forwards rather than trying, it's like rather than trying to steer the ship. It's like the difference between being in a, a ship with an engine or a motor and you know, you're, you're trying to steer the ship and, and the engine's taking you where you want to go. It's like being on a sailing ship, a magnificent sailing ship, which is actually taking you where you're meant to go. It's like the winds are naturally with you and taking you in the direction that it's meant to be. There is a new threshold opening up for you. Take a leap, take a leap of faith. Sometimes even when we desire change, we desperately desire change, we procrastinate and we find all kinds of reasons as to why we should stay as we are. It is completely understandable to be anxious when stepping into the unknown. This card is calling you to trust and make that move. So openings coming, you know, this is not suggesting that you hesitate, but it is suggesting that you savor the moment, enjoy every moment, and don't, don't, it's like not allowing any worries and fears to get in the way, because I think you have waited for some of these openings to come for a long time. And here we are in eclipse season where things can happen very quickly. I think some of you may even honestly have begun to think that this is never ever going to happen. This will never move forwards. There will never be an opportunity for you. But actually the opportunities this week, I think are genuinely available for you to step through that doorway. This is very interesting. The card of intention, you know, intention is a focused thought. Prayer is a focused thought. Worry is also a focused thought. Notice the predominant thoughts that you hold in your mind because these are actually sending a request into the universe. If necessary, consciously make adjustments to your thinking patterns. Again, if you're, if you're slowing down, if you're aware when fishermen can't go to sea, they mend their nets. If you are slowing down enough to allow the universe to orchestrate for you and to 
for the ship to naturally, the winds to naturally guide you to this, through this threshold, through this new opening, to these new beginnings, two aces, then and it, you are navigating. Look at this Neptune pouring abundance into the sea. I mean, it, it's a beautiful, beautiful imagery here that shows us that actually just Again, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, noticing your thinking patterns. If there's a worry, then, you know, put that to one side. You know, this is, it's repairing those nets because the tree of life is waiting for you and you are in flow, you know, clear and activate, create sacred space. The space within us, the energy space within us, our personal vibration is actually altered and affected by our own thinking patterns. So if there's a worry, a predominant worry, that will alter your own internal personal space of vibration. So we need to keep that space clear. Any blocks, just put them aside. Trust and take that leap. The universe is orchestrating around you. Okay, um, I'm going to draw, I think, from the Angel Answers pack here now. Let's just ask if Spirit wishes to show anything else or give us any more information for reading number one. You're ready. Whew. And trust. Oh, reading number one, this is absolutely beautiful. I feel really humbled. You know, it, it, look at the Queen of Stars. You know, she's humbled in her space of illumination. Her heart center is being lit up. She's being guided, but it's like a guiding star. You are ready, trust. I mean, wow, this is just, reading number one, this is something you have waited for for a long time. Whether the doorway simply opens for you to take that very first step on this new pathway of emergence, you're stepping over a threshold or whether you genuinely see something that literally lands and arrives and you think, oh, can I dare? Yes, you can dare. This is a magical week of new beginnings. If you didn't actually, if you jumped into the readings and you didn't check out the lunar energy for the coming week with the full, the full moon um, eclipse in Scorpio, the blood moon and the flow of energy, because the flow of energy is, is amazing this coming week. Do check that out because there's something about that that I think you might want to tune into in terms of just going with the flow. Wow, reading one. I just, just wow, wow and more wow. Um, I'm move these cards along so that you can really lean into them visually. I'm moving them along simply because I noticed this one has got a bit of light reflecting off it and it's really nice just to see. I mean, look at the leaning forwards, that humble receivership of something new and leaning forwards with clean, clear energy to receive, to move forwards, to take that leap, to trust. You are so ready. Reading number one, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. I honour your readiness. Uh, reading number one, if you have enjoyed this reading, if it's resonating with you, do please um, give it a thumbs up. Do please um, press likes, shares and subscribe if you would like to receive any of the notification of any of my readings. Um, I uploaded a couple of extra spontaneous sets of readings during the week. There's a Mercury retrograde set of readings and also a very clear yes no answer you know if you're indecisive about something there's some yes no readings as well to tune into um, if you want to get notification press the little bell icon as well and that way you should get uh, my readings coming into your stream as soon as i upload them and um, if you want to be in my monthly prize draw to win a free private reading or a pack of these uh, oracle cards, the link to join my subscriber email list is in the information box as and, and the comments too. And yeah, guys, I will make the announcement of the winners as well at the end of these readings. But super souls, wow. I mean, I just, I'm going to just sit in the wowness myself of this just for a little while, a few minutes, give myself um, the opportunity to absorb your wow energy before I move into reading number two. Tons and tons and tons of love to you. 
Welcome to reading number two. You have been drawn to the Ten of Stars, a card of hoarding it, and the Rune of Harvest and also the, the charm, the butterfly of transformation. So the Ten of Stars is a really interesting energy because it's a card that it, in traditional packs, this is the Ten of Wands. So it's a card that suggests that we sometimes we're spinning too many plates or we're feeling a little overloaded, we're burdened by something and we need actually to transform it, we need to put it down. The transformation is here in the butterfly. The Rune of Harvest is also suggesting that maybe this is related perhaps to your working world, to your working environment, because you know, the Rune of Harvest often suggests that there is still work to be done, but it may be that you're overly anxious or worrying or feeling overwhelmed by what's ahead of you. Let's see what Spirit is offering to um, offering you for this week of guidance on your journey. Oh gosh, this is powerful. The card of the Venom. Okay. Hmm. This card came up in one of the recent readings. I've done some kind of spontaneous readings to do with Mercury and retrograde. Um, what the, you know, what your spirit team are advising for the Mercury retrograde period, what they want you to know. And also some yes, no, very clear yes, no decision readings too. This is a very interesting energy because it came up in one of those readings too. Let's draw other Oracle cards as well. Oh. Spirit messages, observe limitations. Mm, okay. Okay. I feel like maybe, I won't say you've bitten off more than you could chew, but then you may be feeling burdened by, you know, when you're doing too much and you know you're doing too much, but you're still kind of saying yes, when really you ought to be saying no. Um, I'm good at that, honestly, truly. Um, I, I think a lot of us are, we're trying to do our best all the time. This feels like, you know, observe limitations. Don't overstretch yourself because you can end up feeling resentful if you're giving too much. It can sort of color your own energy in a way that's not as helpful as we might want. So let's just see what other cards we're going to be shown. That's your first. Nine of Swords, very interesting, very, very interesting. This is a need to, gosh, you are feeling overloaded. Let's, let's see what else we're shown here. You're feeling overloaded, Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm, something needs to be brought back into balance here, okay? Something, yeah, something in your world that has, you've been trying to, I want to say trying to hold on to something. It's, it's difficult to let go of something here that has been, something's been troubling you, it's been burdening you. It may be that you have taken on a lot of things and you need to put something down, but you're not sure what to put down or you need to bring something back into balance. The, the timing is right here. Now, if this full moon eclipse in Scorpio is showing you, revealing to you areas of your life that are feeling under strain and under pressure, it may also be, you may also be shown where you are needing to ease back or some things you need to put down or let go of. There's definitely something here to let go of, not to, there's a difference though between letting go of something and 
and hold, you know, not holding on. So, so there is a difference. Sometimes if we put something down, we choose to put it down. But there is a difference between sort of physically doing that and, and simply not holding on to something. It is like exactly that. If somebody's asking something of you, um, you, you don't have to constantly respond immediately. Five of Pentacles, there is a sadness around having to let something go. There's a sadness around this. It's something that you thought, there's something you thought would emerge. There's something that you thought was going to flourish. You saw the early signs of it flourishing and you started, I think, to kind of invest very heavily in this, but actually it, it hasn't worked out. It's not, something isn't happening. It's not working for you. I mean, that it, it's stretching you or, or taking more of your energy than, than is needed. So, Reading number two, I'm going to draw a lot more cards for you. We're going to seek more guidance and more clarity as to what Spirit is advising for you this week. We're asking, release the past. Okay. This sits under the card of the Venom. Releasing the past, letting something go. And persevere. Mm. Bless your past. Mm. Okay. This is really interesting reading number reading number two because we have the card of Persevere sitting under the nine of swords. Bless your past under the three of pentacles. Release the past under the card of the venom. I, I feel like there is something that has, there's something that knocked you off balance and it's almost left, it's overloaded you in some way emotionally and it's also left its residue. There's, there's something that needs to be let go of here. It needs to be honoured for the, the value it gave to you because you will have grown in experience. Um, for those of you who are interested in manifestations, you, I'm sure many, many of you will be familiar with the, um, the Esther Hicks and Esther and Jerry Hicks Abraham channelings. You know, they talk, they, they talk very much um, of the need to use our experiences that are difficult as a contrasting experience. So we, we don't forget what's happened, but we use it as a contrasting experience. So um, we're given experiences that are challenging or difficult, and it's from that, con the contrast of that is the opposite. And it's the opposite that we want to then lean into. It helps us to define what we want to bring into our world. And there's something here about letting go of something, persevering with your desires, persevering with your dreams, being prepared to step out of your comfort zone, holding on to the purity of the vision that you really wanted, the stuff that you want to invest and celebrate, but letting go of the residue of something historic that if for some for some of you it could literally be a thinking pattern or just emotional scar tissue from a situation that was challenging for you. I mean, this card says, you know, releasing the past does not mean that we forget, nor does it mean that if something bad happens that this was okay. It means that we make a personal choice to no longer allow our history to dictate and shape our life, both now in our present time and in our future. You know, I can guarantee if somebody once treated you badly and you're kind of holding on to that, you know, the way that we go, sometimes we go over and over and over stuff, stuff just randomly pops up in our head and you think, where did that come from? I thought I'd put that down, but there it is again. You know, I know for me, and I'll speak in a personal way, but I know for me, if stuff pops up in my head, it's it's usually situations where I couldn't have a voice. I, I feel like I didn't get to speak my point of view or to say what was needed. But you know, this reading is saying, do you know, just let it go because just because you're going over something, because somebody maybe treated you badly, do you know, it doesn't mean they're going over it. They've probably just moved on and they're doing what they do and whatever they do. It's not your problem. 
Just bless your past, a useful tool to help us to let go of any emotional residue that is still clinging to us from a past experience is to bless your past. Whenever the memory of an event or a person comes to mind, pause and say to yourself, I bless every aspect of my past and I celebrate the contribution that it gave me in becoming the person I am today because you will have become a better, more discerning person. You have become, ultimately this can allow you to be more balanced. You can use the situation, even if it's a negative, you can use it to create a positive because you can define what it is that you want with greater clarity. It's like you can transform something that was poisonous into something that is magnificent. It's like if you were creating a vision board, and I have to say, gosh, full moon eclipse time, what an amazing time to create a vision board. If you created a vision board and you were thinking of something that you didn't want that, that hurt you in the past, the thing to go on your vision board is the exact opposite. If you had met with someone who was unkind or manipulative. Actually, it means on your vision board, you want to meet somebody who is kind, compassionate and straightforward, direct and honest. You know, you're looking at the opposite qualities. So it helps you to define. And that is what this reading is here. You know, observing limitations. You know, don't allow yourself to be restricted. Learn to see things, if you've been spinning too many plates, carrying too much of a burden, other people's stuff as well as your own. It's time to kind of observe those things and then move on to a place that is defined in the opposite way. Let's draw some more cards here. We're going to go for some angel answers. Ask for help from others and choose a new direction. Mm, okay, so there's there's an essence here of perseverance. It's like go back to the go back to the the core of the thing that you really really wanted to manifest in the first place. Here, ask for help. It's really okay to reach out. And yes, there is a letting go but it's okay to ask for help and you can choose a new direction. And indeed in this energy of the eclipse, I'm gonna draw some more tarot cards around these for greater clarity for you reading number two. Around, around these cards and around choosing a new direction, it's like choosing a new route, not thinking that you get there in the same way that you used to think you were going to get there. Let's draw from another tarot. Oh, do you know I'm having a really strong pull actually to a different pack, the Light Seers Tarot. That's the cards that I'm feeling really are going to show themselves for us. Five of Wands. Okay, that's message is coming clear. Oh, they are really. We were right to pick these cards because they are leaping out of the pack for you. Wow, there are just so many cards coming here through for you, reading number two. Okay, <laughs> here you have the Nine of Wands again. Eight of Swords, Six of Wands. Okay, right. I feel like uh, this is really interesting, the message coming through here. Five of Wands is like, I feel like you've been in a situation where maybe you have experienced something of almost like the envy or the jealousy of somebody else. You've been in a perhaps quite a competitive environment. You've been happily manifesting, but people have wanted to kind of like um, burst your bubble. You know, here you were, I think you were doing your best. You've really given your best. You entered into something with um, kind of like almost an innocence of spirit. You know, you didn't know that you were, you didn't know what you were walking into. And 
actually you've faced the competitiveness and the envy of and the, maybe even the jealousy of others actually but you're being asked to don't lose sight of your ultimate goal but don't let your energy be colored by the energy of others you know don't hold on to resentment about the way that other people behave because they're on their own pathway they're on their own journey you can actually manifest you know a, a different pathway if you wish this is really what it, the impact of what happened to you has left its mark but actually you're being asked to recognize you know you can be you can actually be free of this i, I think what happened is that you were left with such a powerful experience that it's been really really hard to put it down and it's it's ended up tangling your head in stuff but you know there's going to be an emergence coming through i mean this is the nature here we have this butterfly let's go back right here to this part of the reading that we drew at the very beginning we come back to a place of transformation and a place in the rune of harvest the rune of harvest is a fruit bearing rune it is a rune of promise it kind of says there is still work to be done and again choose choose a new direction you know I, I think you may have invested in the wrong person or the wrong relationship or something along those lines the wrong group of people there's something about your I almost feel like they were dimming down your brightness sometimes people are drawn to you like a, a butterfly or a moth is drawn to the flame sometimes your brightness your desire your passion people are the wrong people are drawn to that just because they are drawn to your light and there's something about shifting your perspective shifting your energy shifting your direction no longer carrying the burden of the past yeah you can actually delegate as well you don't have to do this alone i feel like the weight of responsibility for some of you you've ended up carrying the weight of responsibility of a situation there's disappointment here in some way i almost feel like i could be bombarded by different messages and this is a generic reading which is reaching out to you know to many people the essence of the reading whether this is about you releasing the burden of responsibility and delegating receiving help from others so you're not carrying everything because you felt you had to people weren't to be relied on or whether it is that you are leaving something behind and letting go of an internal thinking pattern or the residue of something where you have been burdened by that and again it's the residue of the past whether you are overloaded or, or you've been shrouded by sort of the competitiveness of other people who are envious of you and have kind of wanted to almost kind of prod and poke you and you know that there's so many layers or, or, or different situations that this reading applies to but the essence of the message of spirit this week for you in the light of this very powerful full moon eclipse this blood moon in scorpio for you guys it is there is a promise of a future that will come to fruition you will succeed and you will receive the recognition that you deserve okay that you will receive the recognition that you deserve the the emphasis on you personally in this week of potential movement forwards because it's definitely you know if you checked in with the lunar update and um, if you didn't you may wish to there is a real flow of energy this week for emergence for i mean the universe is supporting us whatever is shown to us over the the full moon eclipse there is the energy of potential transformation flowing through the week there is opportunity here for you to put something to rest put it down release the burden and move forwards to a place where you can it's like taking charge of stuff recognizing you are not bound by the restrictions and the overload of a situation recognizing that you don't have to do it all being kind to yourself bringing yourself back into balance not giving more 
than you can realistically give. Choosing to rebalance, to not be as affected by other people, not to hold on to the resentments that come when people behave badly, just it's their journey, let them go, send them love and walk away, say no, do the best you can, but don't do any more. It's that kind of flavor. Let something go and leave it, let, let it come to rest. Reading number two, I am going to um, just draw a couple more runes before we kind of wrap up this reading. I really feel this, this sense of something really eating away at you in some way that has already happened. Okay, this is lovely. So we, we have the rune of fertility. Again, this is a, it's with the rune of harvest is beautiful because the rune of fertility, it requires completion of beginnings in order to fertilize the ground for your own deliverance. And then we have the rune of possessions and the rune of possessions, uh, the rune of, um, it's like the rune of nourishment as well. The rune of nourishment and possessions, it's interesting because it actually suggests that there can be unexpected rewards and gains, but they tend to come not in the form that we expect. So something needs to come to its natural conclusion and be completed, laid to rest, let go of, whatever. And from that, there is going to be opportunity arising six of wands. So we lay something to rest, we, we accept it, we let it go, we say, you know, enough is enough. And, you know, I cannot do everything. So we begin to accept something in a very realistic way, we bless our past, we put it down, and then we enter a space of perseverance, where we choose to move forwards in a more balanced way that is right for you. We rethink the way in which we are going to move forwards. We choose a direction that is free of the baggage of the past. And then things emerge. Things begin to open up and start to flow into being. I think, you know, the message from Spirit here this week for you, the guidance is really, I want to say, take it easy. Look after yourselves. Prioritize what you can do and don't do what you can't. Take care of yourself. Look after yourself emotionally. Do not be bound by the baggage either of others or the residue of something. Reading number two, the energy will lift as, as soon as we are able in ourselves to let go of something and lay it to rest. The, the new direction actually then becomes very clear. You have choices available to you. And yeah, it may not be the direction you thought you were going in, but there is help available. And, and guys, actually in terms of readings, I posted extra readings this last week, one set of readings about the Mercury retrograde, you know, what is being shown to us? What do your spirit guides, your spirit team wish you to know about for the retrograde, the Mercury and retrograde energy, because it's often disruptive, but with purpose and also some yes, no readings as well with clear support to find direction and clarity. So those are uploaded, those have been uploaded during the last week as well. Wonderful friends, I'm going to wrap this reading up. I feel like you have really had a lot to contend with reading number two, but the time is here to transform. And you may have been a bit of a magnet for some people who's who were kind of a bit, you know, the energy vampires of the world. They wanted more than, you know, and they were jealous and envious of you. Whatever this reading is speaking to you about in this energy exchange, it's time to release something and put it down and move forwards from a different perspective with a clarity of opportunity in, in with new ways of doing things. So reading number two, tons and tons of love to you. If this reading has resonated and you would like to get you know, notification as soon as I post any of the readings, the weekly guidance on Sundays I post every Sunday, or the readings that I post spontaneously, like the Mercury and Retrograde ones or the Yes No's, 
do do subscribe and press the little bell icon and thank you for those of you who like and share thank you for all of you who are a part of this amazing community and if you would like to be in my monthly prize draw to win a pack of oracle cards or a private reading um, it is a subscriber offer and you can add yourselves to this, my subscriber email list all of these things are in the links below and i will be announcing the winners um, at the end of these readings tons and tons and tons of love to you uh, reading number two take it easy you've been through some big emotional stuff and you know there's a need to let go and free your own energy and look after yourself and just take it step by step so that actually you can replenish and become clearer about how to proceed and as I said, the direction may come not in the way that you expect, um, but nevertheless, unexpected rewards, gains, ambitions fulfilled, this rune speaks of, fertility, harvest. So there's massive potential coming your way, reading number two, but something has to be released and sort of course corrected or tweaked along the way first. And here we are, eclipse season, stuff can happen very quickly. Tons and tons of love to you. Welcome, N reading number three. You have been drawn by the Ten of Trees, the card of loyalty, the rune of Hagalas, disruption, and this beautiful little treble clef. There's something about vibration. I mean, look at the energy literally coming out from the heart center of this tree. We are seeing energy and vibration just emerge and flow. Very, very powerful beginning to the reading before we've even drawn any more cards. In a traditional tarot pack, this would actually be the Ten of Pentacles. So it's a card of a lot of promise and a lot of opportunity. Now, it's very interesting because Hagalas as a rune of disruption. It tends to suggest sometimes that we kind of get to a space of realization something becomes clear to us I mean it may be that energetically something is becoming clear to you something is shown to you over the next couple of days in the energy of this very powerful full moon eclipse in Scorpio this blood moon something is shown to you or you real have a realization that allows you to shift your energy in some way I'm going to draw straight away from a tarot pack oh This is speaking as well. Okay. Okay, so we have 10 of pentacles. Wow, we are doubling up on this energy. Wow. So 10 of pentacles, effectively 10 of pentacles. There is massive opportunity here. Two of cups. Seven of wands. Ooh, this some... <laughs> A little bit of competitive energy here ace of pentacles seven look at this two tens two sevens we have the card of the chariot and we have the card of strength gosh something is going to shift and move forwards i think in your world uh reading number three quite rapidly i think you know we are sitting in this eclipse energy this full moon blood moon i feel like something is about to you know the rune of Hagalas disruption sometimes it means we literally come to our senses we see something with clarity my goodness me sometimes it just means there is disruption and a doorway opens and something shifts very 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 quickly and i feel like that is actually going to happen here for you in some way shape or form something is going to shift and move let's draw more cards we'll draw oracle cards and see what else we are shown Ooh, this card came out the threshold this card came out in reading number one as well super souls you may actually want to tune into reading number one as well you may even have been drawn to both your intuition may have taken you instinctively to both i'm going to place this here 
the threshold. Okay, so you are stepping over a threshold. Something is going to open up. Something is going to move forwards very quickly. It may be to do with, for some of you, relationship with love. Something is overcome here. There's a, mm, you come up against something, but gosh, it opens up. And I think you kind of let go of something in order to move forwards. <laughs> Maybe you make a decision about something quite important. Uh, there is a decision to be made. Maybe you have to say yes to one person and no to another. There, there's opportunity here, massive opportunity here. Hmm. Oh, wow. We will draw from more cards. Let's. Oh, Dark Knight of the Soul. Wow, life brings new meaning. You are emerging. Reading number three. Oh, gosh. This card has just shot out of the pack as I was putting it down. Third eye vision. Reclaim your mind. Oh, I'm just going to draw another from this card too. Divine will. Let go of fear. Now this is really interesting. This card here, clear and activate. It's gone back into the pack. Whenever I'm doing the readings, I always place cards right back into the pack and shuffle and shuffle. This was from in the previous reading. Or in maybe it was even reading one. Well, it was in one of the other readings. But it's showing itself to us. So I think we are gonna bring this out. We're gonna draw, I'm gonna move the cards up in just a moment, I think. Uh, reading number three because we're going to be drawing quite a lot of cards for this reading here. Here we are, Hidden Realms. Ooh, this is, is a very powerful emergence here. Let's move these up. In fact, actually, I will just I will just do this for you. Okay, hopefully you can see all those cards and we still have room to draw another another row of cards here as well. Wow. Okay, reading number three. It's like Gosh, Ten of Pentacles is, is a card of um, kind of contentment. It's like your long-term dreams, your long-term desires, your long-term goals, happiness. And yet you're kind of on the threshold of this. You're on the threshold of an emergence. But somebody has challenged something that you have desired and wanted. Now, it may be that you, if this is a, for you guys, if you're involved in some aspect of, of love, of relationship, there's been a challenge within that relationship, within love. You know, somebody almost, I think, maybe has even tried to block you from meeting somebody or, or having something that, or there was competitiveness going on. You know, something has been going on here. But... This is a space and time where it's almost like by shifting your own awareness and resonance, something opens up and moves itself forwards. If this is more to do with a creative project or um, maybe even a, a position of something in your in your world that is to do with your working world or even your home or your family again there is there's something that everybody wanted it's like every, everyone wanted a piece of the pie or more than one person wanted a piece of the pie and i would venture to say you know more than one person i think more than one person wanted a piece of you or something that you have to offer or whether it is your success or your idea or your dream or you know if you were if you were for example you know if you had started a relationship somebody else there's somebody more than one person coming in um interested in you there's more than one person interested in your creativity interested in what you have to offer if you're, you know, in a, a work situation, more than one person wanting you to be bringing something into their life. There's definitely something about your own 
your own, yeah, it's you. It's like you and the joy of you and the love of you and the success of you and the, the everything that you can bring forth. It's like it, being a really successful, amazing person, full of potential, full of joy, full of love. And actually that's very, very attractive, whether that's in your working world, whether that is in your, your personal world, whether that's within your family. And it's like, that's a magnet for people, but more than one person has been wanting what you have to offer. And there's, I feel like there's almost competitiveness going on behind the scenes in order to get your attention or get your awareness or, or, or to get you involved in, in their world. And I think this is going to come to your attention. Okay. And, and it's going to, I think it's been causing you, you, you may well, I think, be very aware of this situation already. Some of you and for others, maybe it will come to light in the energy of this full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio gives us a deep dive emotionally. It's caused you some conflict, but the conflict is other people. It, it, there's more than one other person and yet it's involved here, but it's, it's had an impact on you personally. Now it, it's, and it has, it's affected your mind. It's affected the way you've been seeing things. Third eye vision, reclaim your mind. Let go of fear, reclaim your mind, clear and activate your own space, your own creative space. Okay. And create conscious awareness. It's like you're, you're actually what you're, what you're seeing here. I, I feel like you actually hold the higher consciousness here. And there's something about you reclaiming your power. I think the rune of Hagalas for me is a rune that suggests that there's always, um, disruption with purpose and we are of course in the mercury retrograde period alongside the full moon eclipse when things are shown very very clearly to us you're going to need to be a little bit tactful about the way that you approach this situation but this is why we need to spirit is suggesting inviting you to reclaim your own mind I kind of feel like you don't really want to talk to any of the people involved directly in this. It, it's more important that you reclaim your own mind, clear your space, let go of fear, and just create your own conscious awareness of this and navi navigate with um, kind of from the inside out here. You know, this is, you know, sing your own song. And make sure your if your own energy and your own vibration is clear, just navigate this with tact, diplomacy, consciousness, and awareness. This is going to move forwards very, very quickly. This situation that is emerging or has emerged or has been clinging or lingering, it's kind of been bothering you. It's been it, it's been keeping you awake at night or, or it's been entering your dreams. Whatever it is, it's going to shift, move very, very quickly. Um, it, it's going to resolve itself. Okay. And the key here is not to engage. Actually, you're being advised to step away from this. I think actually reading, reading number three, your spirit is suggesting that you step away, step back or step away, hold the higher vision. You, you are actually the person who can decide what's right for you. You are the one, you are the, um, the magnet, the, the person of abundance. You are the kind of the golden person here. And as I said, this is, this is, you, you are an attractive, I want to say an attractive commodity. That sounds awful, doesn't it? Because we're not commodities, but there is something about you being, you have something very special. You are somebody with a lot of light. You have a lot to give. You have a lot to offer. You have a lot to bring forth and something about the energy of other people's circumstances, their own competitiveness has, has like impacted you know there's there's definitely something going on you may have rivals as lovers who, who both want to be with you you need to decide what you want to do and and actually just be navigate this situation with care with thought with tact with diplomacy 
really this is inviting you to stand back and almost cleanse yourself of the energy of others something is going to shift break through and move forwards very 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 quickly actually that's what i'm seeing here now i'm going to draw from another tarot card here another tarot card another tarot pack oh, that was your first card here yeah two of swords this conflict here around you mm -hmm. let me see if i can move the camera open just a little bit so that we have just a little bit more just a little bit more room I'll, I'll move the cards again for us okay so we can now see everything hopefully Two of Swords and Judgment. The Magician. Ace of Discs. Look at this. Ace of Discs. Ace of Discs. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. This is... And sitting directly under one another. And look at the cards we have. You know, we have Aces here. We really are at the beginning of... There are opportunities here. nine of discs lovely this is a beautiful 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 way of moving things forwards the king of swords the universe and the emperor i think that is just about in we can see everything yes i think so i think we can see everything here right okay this is really really clear spirit is bringing us um guidance and showing us what reading number three are needing to see as things emerge and progress this situation is, has been playing on your mind and it's causing you worry and the behavior of other people is causing you worry and it's actually it's almost like it's energetically cluttering you up actually reclaim your own mind this is a t not a time to be influenced by others this is a time to um, retreat let go of fear create your sacred space and and just then really really delve into um, that space of your own consciousness and your own awareness now that conflict is definitely around you the two of swords and and you you but evaluation you, there's a need to evaluate here there's a really good purpose to this because you need to see the reality of of something here you need to see the reality of people's responses in a situation the magician is very much a card that is suggesting it's time to empower yourself ace of pentacles it's like you have something that is so special and so full of potential here ace of pentacles ace of pentacles divine will let go of fear it's like something of this situation has knocked you off balance. It's left you questioning almost like which way you should go. What choice should you make? Actually, the choice, it should not be guided by what other people want or think about it. It's guided by you. I think you are in a position where you have so much to offer. I mean, you really have so much to offer. And whether this is in love, whether this is in, in a working environment, whether this is within a family environment or a community environment, wherever it is, you have, you have a lot to offer and people can really see that. And there's something about the energy of others that has left you really feeling troubled or their perspectives their circumstances their situations their dis ultimately it's all about wanting to have something that you have to offer and actually this is a time for you to bring you forth in your own right the nine of discs is a fabulous card to have here because the nine of discs is like you know it's that card of what i would call 
genuine self-satisfaction. It's like you're there, you know your self-worth, and you know that what you have, you have because you damn well deserve it, because you worked for that. So there's something about re- aligning your energy and knowing it's like bringing back your own self-esteem bringing back your own self-worth it's all here ten of pentacles ten of pentacles this is you you have so much to offer so much potential and and that does attract lower energy sometimes this is a card of realigning with your desires, your passions, the things that you personally want. And you may actually have to quite tactfully um, decline something. Tactfully stand back and remove yourself from, you don't have to do it radically. I don't think, you, you know, you do need to be clear about what you want, but you don't have to radically, um, you know, in someone's face say no, just decline just you know step back from something if somebody is pushing vying for, people are vying for your attention you know you just take a rain check sorry I'm not available you don't have to justify your position I, I feel some of you have been put in a place where you feel like you have to justify your position or you have to justify saying no to something actually you don't you just tactfully decline you just say oh sorry no thank you I'm not available you know, there's something about stepping away from somebody else's drama, someone else's story. And King of Swords, just be very clear, hold, stand your ground, hold, hold your pathway in terms of just doing what's right for you here. And the universe, the shift, the ending, there's an ending and a new beginning. And it's going to open up, I think, very, very quickly, which is, is what happens in eclipse season. It's like you become the master of your own destiny again. You kind of already were. And then there's been like a little, a little mini invasion in some way by some other people's kind of stuff in, in some way, shape or form. This is the threshold, but you're about to, to realign yourself. Hagalas tells us that, you know, it, it may be, that you have suddenly a series of, of events have built up over time where you now see somebody for who they are and you know that you need to make a decision and you th their energy doesn't resonate with you so you're going to need to tactfully decline don't let it trouble you. you you don't have to defend yourself here it's very strong this sense of having to defend yourself against somebody else's perspective somebody else's desire what somebody else wants and actually you don't have to do that just tactfully decline thank you but no thank you you know sorry I can't do that take a rain check on that one wish you well you know have a lovely time you know can't come to that just you know whatever however that is the shift is coming and you are about to be in a position where you re-establish yourself um, and take charge of your own destiny and your own pathway again very very clear as long as your energy is right everything is going to shift and move and fall into place. There's a very strong connection with reading number one, actually, here. It's almost as though if this take, as this takes place, reading number one then emerges for you. you. You guys may want to check that out. But the message from Spirit is clear here. Stand back, realign your own energy, be loyal to yourself, to your own heart. Act with tact, diplomacy, um, conscious respect while standing back from something and everything will then unfold the conflict will resolve because it's not really yours to deal with um, it this is just people connecting into something to you and all that you have to offer and the conflict will resolve and you move beyond it whether this is connected to relationships in whatever area of, of, of your world this is about reading number three I am going to wrap up this reading, I think. Uh, I wish to just honour your right to choose, your honour to make decisions that are right for you. And, oh, you know, I'm going to draw one more card before we do this from the Angel Answer pack. And then, wonderful friends, I think, yeah, I'll draw one more card here. Okay, so you will need to communicate clearly. 
again it's it's a clear I think for some of you it's a clear stating no and then we have one more card from the Art of Manifestation Oracle pack it's really curious there's an opportunity card that's come through also releasing the past both of these cards came through for you this is letting you know that as you say goodbye to something you stand back and you step away from something in the past you know this card says releasing the past does not mean that we forget nor does it mean that if something bad happens that this was okay but it does mean we make a personal choice to no longer allow our history to dictate and shape our life both now in our present time and in our future this card speaks of new opportunities though they may not necessarily come in the form that you were expecting this is the room of Hagalas. be alert look beyond the obvious be prepared for opportunities disguised as loss if a new pathway opens for you trust it is leading you in the direction that you are meant to go yeah i, I feel like there's a definite stepping away from something here um, realigning your own energy you have so much to offer something amazing to birth to bring into the world and yeah there's been something clinging and niggling you know but yeah just communicate clearly let go of, of whatever that is release it and and recognize that opportunities are coming I think with an abundance but it's very much about you uh, yeah moving through and beyond this place this this situation that has caused you a, a trouble in your own mind reading number three tons and tons of love to you you may want to check in on reading number one I feel there's quite a resonance here between the two for you and um, if you have really enjoyed this if it has resonated with you and has um, brought meaning um, to your situation do please subscribe and press the little bell icon if you want to get notification of my readings i post every sunday with weekly guidance from spirit and i also post extra readings the mercury retrograde and the yes no answer readings most recently and if you wish to be in my monthly prize draw where i give away a pack of oracle cards and a free private reading i'm announcing the winners at the end of today's readings um, do add yourself to my subscriber email list wonderful friends tons and tons and tons and tons of love I wish you every ounce of success that you deserve and you do deserve it you have an abundance of amazingness to bring forth into the world and people have been slowing you down or something or someone has been slowing you down and it is time to draw the line but tactfully carefully thoughtfully clearly and as you draw that line um, your own energy realigns and everything bursts forth and I think things will move forwards very very quickly for you in an amazing way uh, you will cross that threshold um, into a space where you are charting the waters of your own world tons of love to you reading number three welcome to reading number four so I normally do I usually do three readings on a Sunday for guidance and today just four cards have shown up so we are doing four readings now reading number four you've been drawn to this card of the path exploration the rune of breakthrough and the little turtle um, charm which is about new beginnings and creation now the path is actually the card of the chariot it's in a traditional pack so it's suggesting I mean openings windows of opening clarity breakthrough moments seeing clearly knowing your direction moving forwards and potentially I would say reading number four moving forwards quite quickly creating something bringing something forth so we will draw first of all I think from some oracle cards gosh the readings have been so powerful um, this this week actually incredibly powerful the empty room oh there is space for emergence here there is space for something to come through to emerge to begin room for that breakthrough moment that yeah that light bulb moment clarity I almost want to say you know what do you want to create here So, divine will, let go of fear. 
Okay, so spirit guidance for the week. What do reading number four people need to uh, need to know? Divine will, let go of fear. Eternal union, new love is forming. Oh, oh, wow. There is a very magical, I'm like tingling. <laughs> Reading number four, I am tingling. This is beautiful. There is a significant breakthrough moment. Look at these cards. Look at these cards side by side with the light streaming through. The pathway is opening for you. Let go of fear. Don't be afraid to embrace something you have really, really desired and wanted. The breakthrough moment, the light bulb moment, the illumination is emerging. The full moon eclipse in Scorpio, that magical eclipse opening up of possibilities. Something you have always dreamed of creating. The path is going to be clear. For some of you, this is absolutely wholeheartedly about new love, eternal union, calling in your soulmate, that moment, that spark of inspiration, the doorway that the universe opens for you to walk through. Let us draw from some tarot cards now. See what else we are shown. The chariot. This is the chariot, the chariot. Um, really very, very interesting energy here. Seven of Wands. Mm. Seven, seven, seven. Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords. And Eight of Cups. Oh, it's emerging, it's happening, it's wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder, you know, the, the message coming through here. The Seven of Wands is really interesting because it is a card that suggests there's competitiveness around. But, you know, I actually feel like the competitiveness here, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, it's like that, you know, do you listen to your heart or do you listen to your head? <laughs> That's what I feel like. New love is forming. The devil. The devil for me is always a card of liberation. It's like we we are invited to cut the cords that bind us, but it's like the car the cords are are there because um, we can let go of them at any time. You know, some some in some more traditional packs, we literally see figures dancing, and they're tied with cords to the devil, and they can let them go at any time. So there's something about freeing yourself, letting go of fear. Look at the way the devil, she's looking at this card, divine will, free yourself. Inspiration, the light bulb moment, the crystal above her head, that moment of inspiration. Let go of that moment of clarity. Let go of anything that has previously inhibited you. You know, there is a space waiting to be filled here. New love is forming, and I think it is wanting to form very quickly for you. I think you are tangled, perhaps between your head and your heart, a little bit. You know, that sort of, I want this, this is what I'm creating. But actually my head says, well, it, you know, it, it, this might not be right, it might not work out. <laughs> it's that kind of, you know, she's kind of looking away. But here we have the Eight of Cups. This is beautiful. This is moving love forwards. This is bathing in, in the moonlight. Bathing in that space of possibility. This is lovely. Let's draw from other oracle packs. We'll draw from the Art of Manifestation pack. <laughs> the inner critic. <laughs> Self-care. Mm. Mm. Okay, this is really interesting. Shine, that's the card for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, 
the inner critic. It's that critical bit in our mind where I feel like, yeah, that let go of fear. This is what's happening here. The divine will, let go of fear, that sitting underneath the devil card, the inner critic. This card asks you to, to transform your inner critic into an inner critique. The realistic appraisal and constructive feedback of a critique will enhance your ability to step into the best version of you. Whereas ongoing and persistent criticism will wear you down, eroding your confidence and your belief in your abilities. This is like, you know, that infernal inner critic where you just, it, it loads you with self-doubt. You know, it'll never happen to me. I'm not good enough. Da, 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 da. I'll make the wrong decision. You, you know, all that stuff. This is, this, this is the universe offering you a breakthrough moment that spirit is saying to you, look, the breakthrough moment is right here, right now. New love is forming. This does feel very strongly like a new, a new chapter in a relationship or a brand new chapter of love in your world, a brand new relationship, a brand new chapter in an existing relationship, maybe even in, for some of you, a new chapter of self-love. But for some of you very much about, yeah, it, it is about love. It's about that soulmate connection, but you embracing love. And it, it's going to move forwards really that, in the in eclipse season, which is where we are, we have this powerful full moon in Scorpio taking us to the depths of our emotions and the depths of our desires. I mean, that's where our passions and desires start in the depths of our emotions. They're fueled by desire is fueled by emotion. Creativity is fueled by desire and let go of fear. Let go of any fear that says you can't have this right now the full moon may illuminate some of your fears and may highlight um, you know some areas where you have ended up feeling like this isn't going to happen but actually you know this is a time to really embrace yourself as a priority because self-care is not an act of selfishness it is an act of consciousness it's what this card invites you to prioritize yourself. Um, this may feel selfish to you, but in truth, when you attend to your own needs with love and care, you create an inner wealth that radiates into the world. Now, the time is right for you to spread your wings and soar. You have something valuable to share. Bring forth your greatest contributions, step into your fullest potential, show the world the real you, reach out and shine. The universe supports your growth. I feel like there's something in this reading about you being you. Maybe you have not felt that you could be you within relationships. You've hidden something of yourself, dampened yourself down, accommodated the needs of others always, rather than shining your own light. And now it is time to be you. And as you are you, you will draw to you the kind of love that you really want in your life, in all aspects of your life. Yeah, there's a head and your heart. I, I feel like the Seven of Wands is more of an internal card here. It showed up in, in one of the other readings, but I feel like it's a, it's a clash between your head and your heart, between your desires and your belief that you can have them. But actually love is winning through. That is absolutely for sure. So I'm going to draw from another tarot pack and Hmm. Yeah, I think we will use, I think we'll use the Lightseer's Tarot actually, that feels right. We can draw from another tarot pack. I may need to move all the cards up and we'll also draw from some more Oracle cards as well. Kind of want to know, Spirit, can you give us any additional guidance as to, I feel these cards are all coming through, um, as to reading number four's progression and movement forwards any additional guidance for the week head okay i'm going to uh, move the cards up for you guys okay hopefully you can see so we have the card of judgment the card of the lovers ace of wands oh, queen of swords queen of swords queen of swords the emperor and two of pentacles 
Mm. Two of Pentacles under the Eight of Cups. Mm. It's really interesting, you know, having the Devil and the Eight of Cups here in our first row. Because this card, I feel like, she, you know, she's bathing in the moonlight of possibility. But to have that possibility, sometimes we have to let something go. You know, that's the nature of, um, of new beginnings. It's like just over her head, you have like up in the sky, we have like a, a moon and a crescent moon. And then just over her head, it's like there's the shadow, the, the dark moon, the new moon. It's time for you to shine, reading number four. It's time for love to come into your life. It's time for new beginnings. This reading from the message from Spirit here is really, really clear. It's look ahead. Don't look back, look ahead. Look ahead to your dreams, look forward to what you want, look ahead. Cut the cords of anything that binds you in terms of any inner criticism, any inability to prioritize yourself. It's time for you to spread your wings and soar. It is time for you to step into your fullest potential, show the world the real you. This is a reading that says don't hold back. Okay, the time is right for you to move forward forwards. This judgment card is, is like a, a card of a transformation. It's the breakthrough moment. It's the time to see, hold, hold your vision of what you want, where you want to go, to take charge of that direction, to trust, to let go of any doubt. Love is, is forming here. If you are having doubts about someone, I want to say that it's this reading is suggesting that that someone is worth pursuing. You may have to let something go. It could just be your own self-doubt, your own inner criticism. It could be letting go of the belief that you can't be you. But the breakthrough moment and the new beginning is right here, right now. There is a letting go of something, but there's a basking in the space of new beginnings. There's basking in the space of love. And this love is igniting your passion. You know, look ahead, look ahead, look ahead. All of these, these images are taking us into a space of looking forwards, not looking backwards. It's a space of new beginnings. The Emperor, the Two of Pentacles. This is a card that says, you can achieve, I want to say you can achieve equality and balance within relationship. I wonder if maybe for some of you, you simply haven't felt that that was possible. You haven't experienced a relationship previously where you could feel you could be you, where you could feel you could be equally valued just for who you were. And that is the shift of the eclipse that the energy that is being offered here even here look the inner critic card you know we have this beautiful space this beautiful heart space being offered to you you know we have the lotus the unfolding lotus flower the lily of um of new beginnings new possibilities all of the energy here asking you to shine this powerful direction being offered to you here even the emperor you know has this energetic you know pathway coming through here coming through here coming through here coming through here the energy of new love is around you there is no question of it reading number four whether that is falling in love with life falling in love with yourself falling in you know removing that doubt but i do think for some of you it is falling in love within for a brand new relationship in which case it, this is a real thumbs up for it or a new chapter of relationship with someone we have the card of the lovers the emergence the judgment letting go of the old stuff that was previously in the way yeah, your situation is going to improve. Again, look at that. We see the light, the clarity, the way forwards. This is a time to look ahead. This is a time to look ahead 
We have the card of compromise. Very interesting. It's a card, This is a time to look ahead, not backwards. Now, the card of compromise is really interesting because we have the balance here, bringing into balance. Sometimes, though, this card actually tells us very clearly that we have previously compromised too much. We have compromised ourselves. We've compromised who we are. And, you know, I think here with the two of pentacles sitting here, this maintaining of balance, the card of the lovers, I, I feel it is time to bring into your world a level of self-love and self-representation, you being you. That means that relationships become balanced. They become honoring of all parties, including you. Look even at the rune of breakthrough. The rune of breakthrough is in balance. You know, this is a space of opportunity here. What you are letting go of here is any connection to anything that was fear driven. And the pathway is opening up for you. There is a space of new beginnings. Yeah. Reading number four. Do not compromise who you are. Okay. Compromise is not compromising who you are as a person. Compromise in a relationship is about, you know, do we, if we're going to go get a takeaway, are we going to get take out, are we going to get a takeout of pizza or are we going to get a takeout of Chinese, you know, and if one of you wants one thing and one of you wants the other, then you compromise. We compromise and we negotiate over certain things, but we do not compromise who we are not in personality, not in your very essence. It is time for you to shine, to be you. And I feel like for some of you, it's like you've never felt that you could be you within a relationship. I know I said this earlier, and now this is a space of new beginnings. The empty room is here, the space of new beginnings. This is a time for you to be you, not to compromise. For those of you in an existing relationship, the situation is going to improve and it's going to improve because you are prioritizing you and putting down this inner self-criticism, this difficulty, this challenge between yourself, the heart and your mind, between your heart and your mind. Everything here is going to move forwards, I think, really, really very quickly. And, you know, we have effectively the chariot, the chariot. You know, seven, seven, seven. The sevens are breakthrough cards. They are moving forwards. Um, and so, yes, I, I think everything is going to shift and move. You will be bathing in love. Through the bathing in love, you are also letting go and making space for that just by letting go of those previous inhibitions and self-doubts. Reading number four, I, I truly revel in the, the joy and the balance in relationship that is coming to you and the self-worth and the self-value and the right to be you. The universe supports your growth. Show the world the real you. You know, the timing of this is absolutely right for you. So reading number four, in this powerful time of of eclipse season where things can shift and open and move very quickly and the dynamics of this week are offering opportunities to um, have those breakthrough moments where we see things with clarity and everything then just falls into place like dominoes that's what this reading feels like so wonderful reading number four if this is resonating with you and you would like to get notification of any of my readings, um, you know, do subscribe and press the little bell icon. Uh, that way they should come into your stream. Um, thank you for liking and sharing. And, you know, if you are already on my um, subscriber email list and you, you may well be in to win a free private reading or a pack of these Oracle cards, uh, do, um, do check out the video. I'm gonna announce the winners now after reading number four. So do check that out. And if you want to be in that um, that monthly prize draw, you only have to enter yourself to my subscriber email list once and you're then in that prize draw for every single month. And I always put a notification of the winners after one of the Sunday readings. And today is the day for um, the month of April. And also, 
Yeah, likewise, guys, if you are subscribed and you've pressed the little bell icon, you'll get notification of the spontaneous readings and things that I do as well. So um, do check those out. I've just posted Mercury in retrograde spirit guidance for the Mercury in retrograde period and also a yes, no um, series of pick a card readings too. Tons and tons and tons and tons of love to you. I feel like this is just the moment you've been waiting for to step up and be you and the universe is just saying be yourself show the world the real you step into your fullest potential be you it's time for you to shine do not compromise yourself anymore let go of any of those fears that somehow you cannot be loved just as you are and the path will become clear tons of love to you reading number four It's now that wonderful time of the month when I get to announce the winners of the free private reading and of the signed limited edition pack of the Art of Manifestation Oracle cards. So, first of all, the winner of the free private reading is Debbie. Debbie, your YouTube name is Debbie Jensen. Congratulations, you have won a free private reading. If you'd like to get in touch with me via my website, that's www.azemotionalhealth.com. We can arrange to do that for you. And the Art of Manifestation first signed limited edition pack of Oracle cards is going to Isabel. Isabel, your YouTube name is Dizzy Izzy Talks LOA. So Dizzy Izzy Talks LOA. Isabel, do get in touch with me again via the website www.azemotionalhealth.com and we will arrange to get those shipped out to you. We'll need your postal address. Tons and tons of love to you all and congratulations to the winners.